G'day, alright, so hopefully you've downloaded the Unreal 4 camera export tool for 3ds Max, either from my website or via ScriptSpot. I uh, wanted to give you a quick clip to explain how we go about installing it and getting it working and how to use it and all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, in the zip file, I've put the contents in the macro scripts folder, so you can drag that into the root of your Max installation. Uh, I'll do that now. It'll ask you if you want to merge it. Yes, we want to merge it. Uh, it's important you do this with Max shut down. So I'll boot it up now and we'll wait the requisite, you know, minute or so it can take to boot up. All right, so we boot it up and to get the tool running, we need to go to customize user interface and the script will be listed under the toolbars. Uh, this drop down list of categories, I've put it under Weevil tools and we find the entry there and we just drag it up onto any toolbar we want. I'm going to put it up the top there and then we'll save the user interface. I'm going to save it as... <laughs> I'm going to save it as Mac start. You can save it however you want. I don't, your user interface is your business. Yes, I'm doing it. Yes, it's done. Cool. Great. So then obviously you would proceed to animate your cameras in whatever scene you're working in. Uh, I have one already set up just so that you don't have to watch me fumble through that process. Um, little Greeble City, kind of a little bit of fun. It's already exported into Unreal and everything. Um, so I know that that works. To use the tool, we just boot it up. We click on the icon. And you'll see, I've put some warnings in here that um, the script might have some errors in it or it might give you odd behavior. If it does, please let me know because I'm not that great with Mac script. Um, so any advice or features or anything that you want, uh, I definitely want to hear about it because any improvements I can make are going to be good for me as well. Um, once we're in there, you just click on this to pick your camera. It'll bring up a scene lister so that you don't have to go through and try and click it in your scene. I found this is a lot quicker. Um, one thing I didn't mention in my other video is that uh, if your camera was part of a hierarchy, as mine is here, um, you would have had some issues exporting the translation. Um, so uh, there was a step that I think I missed in the other video, but I've now put that into this tool so that it essentially creates a clone of that camera um, using the same kind of position and rotation constraints as in the other clip. Um, and then it does all of the plotting and baking based upon that one. So it doesn't affect your hierarchy or your original camera in any way. So we choose get camera and it tells us which one we have picked and we just click the button and it's like instantaneous and I have an offset camera that has all of my original animation working on it. So uh, we'll just export that as an FBX. Uh, I've already got one here, cam damage, yeah, FBX. So we'll save that one. Yeah, I want to replace it. Some of the export options you just need to double check. Uh, you probably know this already. You need to ensure you have animation ticked. I've chosen to bake the animation. I think that's redundant in this case since it's already been plotted, but I leave it turned on anyway because it doesn't cost anything else and it's just kind of a double check. Uh, but make sure that you have cameras enabled for the export. We'll hit OK. Bam, that's done. And we can jump straight into Unreal where I have my beautiful city laid out. And we want to create a new matinee or we'll add matinee. I'll bring that over here so you can actually see it. And then we just import that FBX. Cam damage, yeah. Open it. It'll ask if I want to create cameras that are in the file but not in Unreal. Yes, I want to do that. And it's actually extended the timeline to the full duration of my animation, which is like 35 seconds. So we'll, um, we'll click on the little preview button here so that our main viewport shows us the camera. And I'll just play it back. And it looks pretty sweet. So there's a lot of different ways that you could leverage this. Um, if you have, you know, a specific character animation set, like paired animations and that kind of thing, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to export the skeletal animation at the same time as the camera. But uh, I'm relatively new to Unreal and Matinee in particular, so um, that may or may not be the case. Might not be the best way to do it. But yeah, so I got a sweet fly through of my little Greeble city, and um, it works perfectly. It's got all the little nuances in behavior and stuff like that. And it makes me quite happy. So uh, I hope that it helps you guys. Uh, it annoyed me at first that it was all offset. So now you have a tool for it. Thanks heaps for downloading it. And uh, please let me know if you have any issues. Have fun with it. Bye.